Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The unofficial results showed Duterte with a huge lead over number two vote getter Manuel Mar Rojas. And the absentee voting results for Guam and Micronesia tracked virtually the same way. Philippine Consul General for Guam Marciano de Borja says Duterte may have won because of a hardline stance on crime that captured the fancy of a majority of Filipinos. This despite widespread criticism of his often crude remarks such as profanity-laced vows to kill thousands of criminals and offensive jokes about rape and adultery. Sometimes he cannot control what he says you know, in public and of course these are sometimes, uh, you know, could be... Um, negative or really downright outrageous, something like that. And he's very vocal about killing criminals. But it's calling attention really to the rampant criminality that a lot of people experience. In contrast, the vice presidential race remains tight, with Congressional Representative Lenny Robredo neck and neck with Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., the son of the late Philippine dictator. Initially, it was Marcos who was leading. In fact, there was a time that he was leading by almost one million votes. But slowly but surely, when all the votes are, are, are received, uh, and then there's a sudden rise of support for Robredo, and now uh, she's leading by about 160,000 votes. Debora says the final official tally might not be known for another day or two. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.